Athena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. And you're, you're sure it had the right number of, uh, gills or whatever? We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth? Oh no, if I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Uh, Grandma! <laughs> I'm just kidding, honeybee. Now, I have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind. Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. Nights are still cold in the spring around here. Could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the farm, chop them up for me, and bring me the wood? Sure thing, Grandma. Oh, you'll need this to get started. <laughs> Potatoes will take a while to grow. Keep watering them every day. If you wander around the farm, you'll find love. <sighs> I just love the peace here. I guess that's why I've never moved anywhere else. Do you think that's strange? No, Grandma. I think it's peaceful here too. Maybe we're both strange. <laughs> Don't forget to water those potatoes every day. of strength. I could eat some food to recover some strength, or try again tomorrow. Oh, that wood looks nice and dry and ready to burn. Great. Thank you for doing that for me. It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Oh, look at you. You're plum tuckered out. What do they teach young girls in the city these days, anyway? If you work too hard and don't keep an eye on your energy, you're likely to pass out. But there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. It'll fix you right up. See, a bit of food is all you need when your energy is low and then you're right as rain. For a while, you still need plenty of sleep. 
Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. But Grandma, you're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah, is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? Did Sophia put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. I hide my recipe book in the stove. She never thinks to look in there. <laughs> Go on, try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial to mushroom risotto. <laughs> I think I have everything we need. Now, I've written down the recipe here. Head on over to the stove. Give it a try. Here you go, Grandma. Here's your mushroom risotto. Oh, thank you, honeybee. It smells wonderful. But you made enough for yourself, I hope. Potatoes will keep watering. I could eat some food to recover. If you decide to go into ranching, you can sell me any animals you have. I'll give you cash and some of the meat. Uh... Oh, I guess it's tough coming from the city to learn how the sausage is made. Yeah, where I come from, it's, uh, it's not talked about so much. I understand. There's lots of stuff we don't talk about in the open here, too. Like what? I have to get back to work.
Hey, are you settling in okay? I'm still figuring out my way around and meeting everyone. Well, take your time. A new town can be overwhelming. And some of the folks here are a little... more overwhelming than others. <laughs> It's so, like, cool of you to come hang with Hazel. When I first took over my stall from the last owner, Hazel came and bought chocolate every day. Turns out she doesn't even like chocolate. She just figured if other people saw her giving me business, they would too. Well, I do like chocolate, so you will be seeing a lot of me too. Sweet. If you can't find me at my stall, I'll be by the lake in the forest, or the beach, anywhere I can catch my line. Well, and Damon's Pub. But all I catch there is grief from Otto for staying out too late. <laughs> Welcome to Cafe Moretti. What can I get you today? Oh, I'm new here. I just came by to say hello. It does smell great in here, though. Wait, you're Hazel's granddaughter. Welcome. I hope you come back soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. Hola. Hey, new girl, how's farm life treating you so far? I'm still figuring everything out. Well, let me know if anyone ever repairs the entrance to the mine by your farm. I run the jewelry shop, but it's a bit hard making jewelry without actual jewels, you know? Crafting beautiful pieces is one thing, but sourcing the stones is tough. I'll let you know. Hey, have you tried Kim's Butcher Shop yet? There was nowhere on the island to get good bacon until they came along. Now Kai and I can have ourselves a breakfast with the works on the weekends. This beautiful creature I see. I, uh, what, uh, I'm Tara, Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't mention that she was so lovely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm Amira, the doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow, thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was sick. <sighs> She's lucky to have such a caring family. Well, I mean, to be honest, we kind of fell out of touch for a while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough.
You're a recent arrival, right? Did Otto have you play that meet everyone game? <laughs> he sure did. But I found it a good opportunity to introduce myself and the League's mission to the town. Before I knew it, I had four new members. I can make a bigger shed, but you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Got it? You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. Hey, Parker. Quick question. Did the mayor make you play a game to meet everyone when you first moved here? Well... Otto wasn't mayor back then. It was Violet's dad, Antonio Miranda. And no, I don't think he asked me to do that. It might have been useful, come to think about it. Some folks are harder to get to know than others. You've got to be Tara! Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. It's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. Wonderful! The last citizen has let me know that you've been introduced. As promised, here is your reward for playing our little game. We hope it helped you acclimatize. Uh, thanks, uh, money's great too, though. Do you ask every new resident to play the meet everyone game? Oh, yes! After all, that idea won me third place in the Icebreaker Innovation category at the annual mayoral convention. Congratulations? Oh, hush. It's hardly worth mentioning. If you ever have extra baked goods to sell, let me know. I'm always happy to mix things up for my customers.
Hello again. Hi. You know, you don't see many blacksmiths these days. Yeah, I know. Well, my great-grandpa was a blacksmith, so I guess you could say it runs in the family. Of course, he died before I was born, but it's his hammer I've got. That's really cool. So your family taught you? Oh, nah. I'm self-taught. A city export like yourself. It's harder work than sitting at a desk, but it's more rewarding. You'll come to love it here. I'll see. Now, thanks. <laughs> 